What's up YouTube and welcome back to GTG. So recently I've been asked by family and friends, what is a good internet speed for gaming? So I decided to make a video about it for others who don't know. And I went and did some research and found out some things that I didn't even know myself that I want to share with you guys. But, 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 first things first, I'm gonna need you to, I'm not sure where, click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to get notified whenever I release new content. So what is a good internet speed for gaming? So you got your whole setup, right? PC, Max, Xbox, PS4. To understand that, you need to know what bytes are. And there are kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, and terabytes. But we're mainly gonna be focusing on megabytes. So to get an understanding of that, we're gonna ask Google what the definition of a megabyte is. Okay, Google, what is a megabyte? Here's the definition of megabyte. A unit of information equal to 220 bytes or loosely 1 million bytes. There you have it. So basically, megabytes is transfer data from your router or modem to your gaming device, PC, Mac, console, whatever. You also need to know what your download and upload speeds are for your internet. Your download speed should be no less than 20 megabytes per second, and your upload speed should be no less than 3. And here's why. Anyways, one thing every gamer hates, and I mean every gamer, is lag. Lag, lag, lag. So whenever you're online gaming and you don't want any interruptions, you definitely want to have high speed. Another reason is streaming. If you want to begin streaming, you have to have excellent speeds. Look at it like this. You're a viewer, right? And you're watching your favorite streamer, but you go to his stream and there's nothing but delay, lag, and bad quality. No. And my one last reason, competitive gaming. Competitive gaming is for a gamer who's very serious about what they do. I cannot stress how important it is to have superior speeds. You can try it with trash speeds, but if you want, I guarantee you it'll be nothing but rage. So if you want to know what your speeds are, you can test your internet with this website right here. Some internet speeds vary depending on what state or country you live in. So whoever your internet provider is, you should try to find out what plans you can achieve with them. I know here, we're paying for the AT&T thousand up, thousand down plan. I have never, ever, 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 ever seen a thousand megabytes per second on anything, computer, console. Some people still have dial up. Some people have satellite. They use their mobile hotspots or like DSL, which transfers internet data through copper wire, which is okay. But the thing about fiber optics and why it's so fast, it transfers data through light. That's right, light. So that should pretty much tell you how fast it is. And to give you an understanding, we're actually gonna do a test right here. So my download speed is 175 megabytes per second. And upload speed is trying to push 100. We got 90. There you have it. So as you can see, our internet is basically OP because we have fiber optics, which is like the next level of internet. Fiber optics internet is usually for people who have a lot of devices using the internet at the same time, or for households who have family members, and they're all using the internet at the same time. So there you have it. Great information for you to know and share with others. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like. And also, let me know what your internet speeds are in the comments. I would like to know. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next video.